Barely a flicker of emotion registered on Doik's face as he learned he would die in jail. Enters a sentence of life imprisonment. Doik's crimes, the court said, were an affront to all humanity and the Cambodian people in particular. He was in charge of a factory of death at the S-21 torture center known as Tul Sleng, sending more than 12,000 people to their deaths. The court rejected Doik's claim that he was not a senior leader and should be acquitted. Judges instead increased his sentence to life in prison. Court observers said this was right given the gravity of his crime. A judgment uh, uh, of conviction, uh, a life sentence, doesn't bring back the victims. It doesn't restore all that was, that was destroyed. But I think it, it, it makes a statement uh, for, for, to those victims and, and to all of history. Prosecution lawyers also voiced satisfaction with the ruling. We actually got more than we asked for. We had, as an office, asked for a term of 45 years. We, in fact, got life imprisonment. Victims activists, however, felt the court was trying to make Doink the fall guy for crimes committed by other senior leaders. It feeds into my suspicion, which is, I think, a, a lot of people's suspicion, that this uh, Cambodian government wants to make Doit, who is not a senior Khmer Rouge leader, who is only the director of one prison among 200 prisons, they want him to be the scapegoat of the whole Khmer Rouge regime. The appeal hearing brings to a final conclusion the first case at the Khmer Rouge Tribunal after six years of operation. The second case, trying the three surviving senior leaders, Q Sampan, Nun Chia and Yang Sari, is now underway. The first part of their trial is expected to run until the end of this year. Doik's sentence means he'll die in jail, but he won't stay here at the tribunal compound. He'll be transferred later to a regular prison, likely Prey Sa in Phnom Penh. And while the tribunal's detention centre has often been described as a five-star jail, Cambodia's regular prisons afford no such luxuries. Stephanie Scowan, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh, Cambodia.